Hi there, my name is J.F. Murray and I am the author of Fling, an Irish romantic comedy. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, the romantic uh, genre um, in general, particularly romantic comedies. And we're going to focus a little bit on why I think men should be reading more, um, more romantic comedies. And this is something that, you know, I've thought a little bit about and I think in general, not to be overly dramatic, but I think the world would be a better place if men did read romantic comedies. Because one thing I've noticed about modern times, particularly on social media, there seems to be a widening gap between men and women understanding each other, which is quite a shame to see because, you know, I think it didn't have to go in this direction, but sometimes you see, you know, hate comments being left on people's videos, you know, and it's like, you know, men ganging up on girls and girls ganging up on guys. And I think, um, you know, there has, there's this kind of divide between men and women at the moment. And I think it comes from a lack of understanding and a lack, a breakdown of communication. And one way I think that can be solved is that if men were to read more romantic comedies and read more romance in general, they would get great insight into, I suppose, what women want and, you know, the kind of the man that um, women seek. Um, straight women, of course, what they seek in terms of, you know, the kind of the perfect romantic partner. And there is this thing on book talk and on social media in general, where it's like the perfect book boyfriend. And it's interesting to me because I think um, you know, a, a lot of women read um, romantic fiction and romantic comedies and sometimes these um, book boyfriends have nearly set the bar so, so high that it's very difficult for your typical man to live up uh, to such um, a high standard. But if men were interested in living up to that high standard, reading uh, romance would be the, the place to start. Um, and I suppose in terms of communication, I think sometimes you see a lot in modern times where men and women almost kind of seem to shout at each other online instead of talk to each other. And that's something about modern times that I think is quite sad. Um, I think in terms of communication, and it's actually the theme, uh, it's a big theme in my novel Fling, where there is this breakdown of communication between a husband and wife, Tara and Colin. And, you know, the at, at, their, at the core, they do absolutely love each other. And these two people are soulmates. But they enter into this little bit of a rut into, in their marriage. And they kind of just get, I suppose, stuck in this phase where they're not communicating. They both love each other, but they just, they don't know how to, they don't know how to kind of listen and hear each other. And I think it's quite uh, reflective of the modern times that we see, particularly online, where people are, are less um, enthusiastic about having a conversation. They just kind of nearly want to shout online as to whatever they can just say. But um, in particularly in the book Fling, there's uh, two point of views. So there's two POVs. You get the perspective of Tara and you get the perspective of Colin. And I think that's something that you don't necessarily always see in romantic comedies. Um, but I think it's important because um, what you see is that from both sides of, of their stories, they absolutely love each other, but they're both struggling with this issue of communication, of communication breaking down. And I think seeing how they both react to that, um, and you know, with Tara's perspective, you see more so how she's more interested in, you know, the things like Colin maybe appreciating her, all she does, maybe buying her flowers um, once in a while, which of course everyone would like. Um, and then you see Colin's side of things where, you know, he's he just wants to kind of have the conversation and he knows something is wrong. But um, Tara is reluctant to just, I suppose, sit down and have it out. And there's a kind of a running joke in the book where, you know, he says, what's wrong? And she says, there's nothing wrong. And then she goes on and says, well, I just think it's funny that. So sometimes, again, you know, sometimes when people, something is wrong, they're reluctant to actually just talk about it. And I suppose that's a big theme of the book. And I think it's important uh, in general for society, you know, to communicate with each other, for men and women to kind of come together and say, okay, well, you know, this is what I'm, you know, this is kind of what I stand for. This is what I like. Um, and in terms of men reading rom-coms, and you do see a lot of it um, online at the moment, men who claim that, you know, they, there's a kind of a lack of understanding in terms of, of what women are looking for. And on the extreme end of it, you see some kind of men being pushed over to the likes of the, the Andrew Tates of the world, which is, you know, very, very worrying. Um, but I think the solution, rather than going to these extremes, is actually a coming together in the middle um, and understanding what both men and women are looking for and what their expectations are in relationships. But that can only start with communication. And I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, that 
that's where the world is going to go in the direction rather than a further divide I would love to see it come together and um, to find common ground through communication but that is essentially what happens in fling that they do eventually find that common ground find the communication and at the end of the day they realize that you know they need each other and they love each other and that's something that we have to all acknowledge we all need each other in this world no one can necessarily survive completely um, independent of anyone else in the world so again that's a big theme of fling and I suppose jumping off of that in terms of just men in general why you should read rom-coms is that it's just fun it's a fun escapism and you can read it on the beach and sometimes you don't necessarily always want to read something too heavy and a romance or a romantic comedy is a way to escape from the world for a few hours and then come back and kind of feel you know get that kind of feeling that you went on a journey you went on an adventure and that had a nice satisfying resolution so I think everyone should should be reading romance everyone should be reading rom-coms um, but men particular which it's not probably the book that's going to jump out to you on the shelf but um, if you are willing to take that leap and pick it up off the shelf I think you're going to be very happy that you did so my name is JF Murray author of Fling thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed